Now, finally, equal pay is really you know, a place where I love to live. Uh, as Julie said, I got to raise money a lot, so I was always in that intersection of money, gender, and power. You can say sex, but I'm, you know, gender's more uh, fluid uh, conversation to have these days. But anyway, the, the place of power um, is really interesting in sports because the marketplace drives the salaries and purses, right? So if fair pay is about sponsorship and fair compensation for executives and, and athletes, we need to immediately boost the promotional and advertising dollars that are going into promoting these quality uh, women and their sports. So women are making, yesterday there was a huge Twitter campaign on equal pay. Women are making 78 cents on the dollar, women of color much less. We all should know that women team sport athletes are making about two cents on the dollar. In golf, they're making about 20 cents on the dollar. Uh, we need to start a public outcry the same way that all the advocacy groups are really focusing on trying to mobilize fans and others and activists to say this just isn't right. So, you know, the investment in women's sports as a strategy is it makes economic and business sense. Women who have benefited from sports have an 8% higher wage premium. They're also 20% more likely to be in the workforce. 80% of women got to uh, senior corporate America through a sports path. So we need to build that value proposition of investing in women as a way to shift the economic paradigm, locally, nationally, and globally. So what we need to do is, again, we need to use our voices. We need to speak out and be strong activists and mobilize the activists we know, mobilize the fans. You know, it really comes down to <coughs> respect. Uh, some of you read Lean In, I'm sure. Um, we need to use our voices and we need to negotiate and speak for our truths and what's right. And if we're not doing it in this room for the collective grassroots and pro sport women sports model, who, who else is? Uh, so can't say enough about that. So I'll give you, you know, some ideas. Hopefully I gave you some hope, some ways for you to be helpful, opportunistic, powerful, and engaging. I um, have some very specific actions that you can take that might seem very simple. But again, change happens one person at a time, one action at a time. And if we want to make impact, we need to be persistent over time. So get out your pencils if you haven't written out all these amazing facts I've shared with you. Uh, consider. Uh, what can I do today to promote another woman in sport? That's every day. What can I do today to cheer somebody on? What can I do today to share data about why equal say, equal play, and equal pay makes economic sense for the sports industry to build the earning power? What can I do today to cheer on a male ally who's promoting women's sports? What can I do today to stay positive and keep the conversation positive about women's sports and dismiss or address negative comments? And what can I do today to leverage and utilize my digital presence, my social media presence, or my organizations to promote women's sports? If we all do that, individually and collectively, we can start to move the dial against some of these data points that need to be shifted, in my opinion. Thank you very much.